uncivilized vitality let's talk about cutting and digging um, as I recommend you should always have at least two knives on you I typically carry one fixed blade and then a small uh, multi-tool like um, one of my Leathermans or a Gerber dime or something and then a larger signal when I'm out in the woods with belt knife so I always have at least two knives this is my uh, Foltz Minimalist. This is the spear point. It's a little thicker and I've put some aftermarket scales on that. Those of you familiar with the Minimalist usually has those three little choils uh, and it's a great little knife. I really really like the spear point. Um, of the eight blade shapes that are offered, the Bowie was my favorite and now the spear point's my favorite. And I got these aftermarket scales from uh, Flytanium. Flytanium. That'll be in the description. And then my sheath is from Armatus. Uh, you just you don't have to send your knife in for custom sheaths for my larger knives I get custom sheaths through uh, Yellowhawk custom kydex Doug Wilson you so many videos Doug's the best But if I want just an in-the-pocket for a model I already have Armatus is great So here's how I carry my knife a couple different ways. I Keep this belt loop on it, and I will carry this On a belt. I don't have a belt by running that behind and snapping it so it hangs out here but a lot of times, especially when in the field, I just throw it around my neck because it's a very light knife and I have a neck knife, so it's always handy. One of the complaints about neck knives, people have that, rightly so, is that neck knives swing and move around when you're doing things. To prevent my, my worry about being choked, I just keep the cords on a, a little cord toggle that would, it holds it in there pretty tight for drawing and quick rips, uh, ripping it free, but it would it would break free if I were to get hung up on this. Now when I'm outside, um, day to day I'll just tuck this in my shirt and pull the cord up tight so it lays on my sternum. That way it doesn't print in my shirt and I can just pull it on my collar if I need it. When I'm out in the woods though, uh, on an event, sometimes I want that so it doesn't swing around. And here's a quick little hack you can do. I go down, I unbutton the second button on my shirt. And then I've threaded through one of our tactical toggles uh, that we we've had in so many videos and I'll, I'll put the link down there go back and check out our other tactical toggles um, the, They make these out of some kind of Super reinforced nylon you could use a wooden toggle too, but these work great. I thread that through the one side and I take that and I just thread that through the buttonhole on my shirt just tuck that through that tactical toggle goes right through that buttonhole, stays, and now my knife doesn't swing forward or get in the way when I'm using it. It's right there where I need it so I can get uh, my knife out and use it. And then if I'm busy and I don't have my other hand free, I can just one hand to place that back in because I know where the, I know where the sheath is because it's held in place by that tactical toggle. Another use for those wonderful things, you can get them a dozen, ten or a dozen at a time from the manufacturer, which will be in the subscription. Great tactical toggle, help you hold your neck knife there. Uh, and that's it. See how quick that one was? So like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications so you can get more tidbits like that. Thank you very much.